last shot? Uh, I just knew it was going to be a tough look. I knew they were probably going to try to double team me, so I uh, just wanted to try to get to my shot as quick as possible. DJ, were you expecting them to use that last foul to give? Uh, we knew that they'd have some fouls to give, so we knew they were going to be aggressive. Um, this that, that last little stretch, so we knew to expect some fouls. Yep. DJ, did you feel like today was a must-win for you guys, tournament resume, resume-wise? Uh, yeah, man. You know, our, our I mean, our um, schedule the rest of the way out. I think we have some pretty good quad one opportunities, especially on the road. So, uh, especially in the ACC, you always want to get those. So, how does it, obviously this is a crushing loss, but given that and the stakes right now, I mean. What's kind of going through your guys' mind? Uh, you know, we just got to learn how to win in close games, late game situations. Uh, so I feel like, you know, we definitely need to go back to the drawing board and just learn how to win these games so next time we're not fi having this feeling right now. DJ, you and you and Cam Hildreth had a little conversation going through a lot of the game. Is that something that kind of carried over from the last time you guys played them, or is that something that happened tonight? Uh, no, nah, I just really kind of go out there and play my game. People start talking to me. I think that's just kind of, you know, goes off of what I'm doing out there on the court. So, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say on that. And then you and Hunter Salas had a little game of one-on-one -on -one going. I think he had 33, you had 31. Are you aware of the other guy and how much he's scoring, or are you just locked in on, on you? And was that kind of fun just going back and forth with him? Uh, yeah, you know, as a scorer, you know, game, you know, you recognize game. So, uh, you know, we plenty of times down the court, man, he's like, hey, man, you putting on the show. I'm just giving it right back to him, man. He's a good player. So uh, that's what good players go out there and do. Well, what, are, what are your thoughts on the game? Just obviously a double double today. It's a hard fought game. Just your perspective on it. Uh, yeah, you know, just, yes, my oh, oh, <laughs> my bad. I say, I, I should have known when you said double-double. I'm like, ah. But yeah, go ahead, my fault, bro. No, no, like, that just bring more energy. Like, I try to play hard on defense, be locked in before the game, and I like, just play. Just fuck it. Uh, did you expect the game to be as physical as it was? Yeah, like, we already played with at home. It was a physical game, but we was we, we was ready for that, prepared, but we lose. So like, you had a couple of threes in the game today, too. Sorry. You had a couple of threes in the game today. Yeah, yeah. I work on my my shot every day with my teammates, with coaches, with everybody. So they trust me. They give me the ball for shot. This for shot. Like I gotta make those. Well, you had eight rebounds in the first ten minutes. Um, what was going so well, I guess, in the first half with you guys being able to get into the second Like, like I already told you last time, I'm good for a rebound every time. Like, I'm tall. I got to use my size for my team, and I know I can get rebound every time. So, yeah. TJ, it was such a back and forth game, fun game to watch. But was there anything that stands out or that you guys could have done better that would have been the difference in this one? Uh, you know, definitely you always want to go back and watch the game over again just so you know what what exactly you're talking about. But just off initial, uh, you know, thoughts, I mean, just, you know, late game situations, man. Those last four minutes, that's when, you know, the game really matters, especially how close and tight it was. Uh, so just the little mental mistakes, you know, where we lost focus, uh, those could have been, you know, situations where we could have, you know, separated ourselves in the game. DJ, 15 points on the fast break was the pace of play something that was thought about throughout the game, trying to get the, the pace up? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like that's our identity as NC State. Um, we definitely want to try to run up and transition and get a lot of shots. So, uh, um, you know, today we definitely, you know, game plan for that. We knew Wake was going to want to uh, play faster, being at home. Uh, they play good at home, so we knew we were going to have to match that. Thanks, guys.